every generation, people are willing to announce the death of movies. Radio came along where people could get their entertainment for free so they would stop going to the movies. Then television came along and home video. And more recently, we've got giant plasma screen TVs, we've got crystal clear DVDs, so people will stop going to the movies. Well, I'm here to tell you that people will never stop going to the movies. They're like cockroaches. You can't kill them. Mr. Hopsdale was not only the, the premier exhibitor in Texas, but he was a, a powerful figure in, in the nation's uh, exhibition industry. He was a, a figure that loomed over the exhibition business like a giant colossus. Downtown, Elm Street was looked like Broadway all the way down. A few years later, I happened to be downtown one night, and I looked down the street, and it uh, hit me right here, as dark as it could be. They don't love theaters anymore. They go when they see a good movie that they want to see, but they won't think about the theater at all. A letter was sent to me asking me, would I be interested in helping to save this theater in El Paso? They were telling me about drives they were doing with children at school and coffee cans, and I thought, that's so heartbreaking. I'm the one who always gets involved in what I call <laughs> hopeless causes. To approve, Representative Samro. Aye. Rodriguez. Aye. Medina. Aye. Cook. Aye. Power. Aye. Sarayana. No. And Cobos. Aye. You have to respect these buildings just as you would your parents and your grandparents. You have to realize that these buildings were constructed and built and were the foundations of these communities. Uh, and you tear away these buildings, you tear away the heart and soul of your community.